today I'm gonna share with you a massive fashion haul. So some of the stuff that I got are from Zara Mango. I got something from Bay. I got something from Dorothy Perkins, among others. And most of these items I got from an online shopping website in the UAE called Namshi. So as always, I'm gonna put a link in the description box below for all of the items that I'm going to show you guys. And at the end of this video, I will share with you a bag that I got from net porte for my birthday. So if you're interested in this kind of hauls in this video, stay tuned and let's get started. So I haven't been really posting a lot lately. That's because I have been very busy with my personal life and there were a lot of things happening with my work life as well. But also it gave me the chance to uh, build up this fashion haul that I'm going to show you guys and just a few weeks ago there were a lot of sales happening so I took advantage of it and I got myself a few items which I wanted to get for quite a long time now so um, in this haul we're gonna start off with stuff that I got from Lavish Alice so I know most of you guys would know um, are or are familiar with Lavish Alice already I believe Margo and me have posted something I think it was this brown um, wool coat that um, I've seen on the Lavish Alice Instagram page and so that was the thing that made me wanted to check out their um, website and that's when I found out that they actually have a sale happening at that point so I got two dresses from Lavish Alice and the first um, one that I'm going to show you guys is this dress that um, I believe it's like a knit dress, um, like a Bordeaux style um, knit dress, so it's off the shoulder. Um, I really like it because of the color and I like the material as well. I thought initially that it was going to be very thin, like the material is going to be very thin, but actually it's not. So. Um, I'm very happy because I would be able to use this um, during the colder months so whenever I wanted to go out I can wear something that something that's appropriate for a night out but still would uh, make me feel warm so this is that dress um, as usual I will put a cutaway of me wearing this items um, for your interest so it's um, off the shoulder, it's got um, a long sleeve and I like this detail, detail in front which has like this crisscross um, kind of like belt on the waist but not exactly because at the back there's nothing, there's no detail like that, it's only in the front but um, I like it because it kind of cinches your waist as well. So this is the first dress that I got from Lavish Alice. So for reference, this dress, I got it in a size UK 10, um, European size 38, and a US 6. Next dress that I will show you guys from Lavish Alice is this white Bordeaux type uh, dress, which also has this ruffle sleeves, and it has a, like an OB type belt, which is already attached to the dress, so you can like cinch it around your waist and tie it. Also, this is a midi length dress, but the slit is actually at the front. I like the cut of this dress especially because I think that the Bardot style really highlights the shoulder area, which is most of the time overlooked. But I think that for a woman, it's quite sexy. So this white dress, same as the powder blue one that I got from Lavish Alice, it's a UK size 10, a European size 38, and a US 6. The next dress that I'm going to show you guys is something that I got off of uh, the Namshi website. And you know how velvet is such a big trend this season? So I got myself a velvet wraparound dress. And I really like this because the color is like a deeper red, almost burgundy. So this velvet wraparound dress that I got off of Namshi website also has this um, 
uh, belt. It's like a ribbon that you can tie um, around your waist. Um, it's a midi length as well. And because it's a wraparound dress, it, the slit is kind of uh, towards the side. I like this as well because this is um, something that you can wear um, for parties during the festive season because of the color. But this color I really like because it's not that bright red. It's actually more of like a deep red, kind of like a burgundy. So for this one, um, I think I, for me personally, I put an OB belt around it just so um, it could emphasize my waist more because this belt actually is uh, quite thin so it doesn't do much for your waist. So for me, I'd rather put like um, a wider belt. Also, when I try this dress on, um, this on the chest part is actually not deep. Um, for reference, I got a medium, so uh, when I tried it on, it fits me perfectly and this is why I love this dress and I plan to keep it. So now I'm going to show you a few of the sweaters that I got for the winter season. So here in Dubai, it's so lovely because the temperatures are starting to drop and you can see a lot of the people are busting out their pullovers, their jackets, their sweatshirts, their sweaters. So I got myself a few sweaters and I got this off of Namshi again. So two of the sweaters that I got off of Namshi are from Forever 21 and it is this choker neckline sweater and I got both of uh, sorry, I got both of these in a size small and I got one um, in black and I got the other one in like a deep um, purple or yeah, it's kind of like a deep purple. So I really like this kind of sweaters. That's why I got myself another one in a different color. And because ruffles are still on trend, I got myself a sweater which has this ruffled um, sleeve. And I like this because the fabric of the knit is really nice. And I was actually quite surprised because I wasn't expecting it to be um, a nicer fabric, but it's really soft and I really liked it. It's kind of a uh, crop as well. So I like to pair this type of sweater with like a pair of high waisted jeans. I got this. Um, in a size small slash medium and I got this in like a new color um, like blush colored um, top. On the website actually this comes in um, a white, a black and a deep red version but I got myself a blush colored one because as you are very well aware of I always get drawn to this type of colors. This is probably one of like my um, favorite colors. So it's Christmas season soon, and that means a lot of parties. So I thought I wanna get myself something that is versatile enough that I can wear uh, during one of these parties. And something still that I can wear um, on a work meeting, so when I saw this at the mango store, I thought I will definitely gonna get this. So this is a satin top. It's um, actually crop, it's like a crop top. It has this um, excess fabric, <laughs> I'm gonna say excess fabric, but it's actually uh, quite a nice detail because it ends up as like a belt, which you can cinch around your waist and tie at the back in like a ribbon or whatever suits you. I really like this and I was thinking to myself I'm gonna pair this with a pair of like velvet um, trousers and pair it with a pair of heels or I can pair it with um, a velvet skirt and pair it with high heels. For reference this is in a size medium I like it as well because it's still very modest even though it's a crop top. I can't wait to wear this to um, 
one of the Christmas parties. So just a little backstory on this next piece that I'm gonna show you guys. I've been looking all over for this and surprisingly I got it off of Naoshi and I was just so happy and I cannot tell you how much I'm obsessed about this item and I can't wait to wear this. And without further ado, it's this velvet crop bomber jacket from Obey. And the detail that I'm going to show you, oh, obsessed, is this one at the back. I mean, how cool is that? Oh, I can't wait to bust this out. So this is like a zip bomber jacket, um, like this. It has a satin inlay. As you can tell from all the items that I've shown you previously, I'm quite obsessed with this color, which is like um, a deep purple, kind of like a deep mauve um, burgundy color. Um, especially as we are going uh, to towards the winter season already. Yeah, can't wait to wear this out. I mean, look at that detail. So now that all of like the sweaters and tops and dresses are done, I'm going to show you next the bottom ones that I got, um, the trousers and the skirts. So first off, I'm going to show you um, a skirt that I got off from Mango. And you know that pleated skirts are everywhere, so I can't help but get myself something. So I got this off from Mango, and this is the, their pleated skirt in mustard, kind of mustard goldy color. And I got this in a size small. So this skirt has a midi length. So I like this skirt because it comes in such a festive color. Um, this is something that you can definitely wear all throughout the winter season and even into the summer. The next item that I'll show you guys is something that I got off from Zara and it is this pair of um, trousers in a plaid pattern. Everybody knows that plaid is very much on trend this season so I got myself a pair of trousers and I like that this is high-waisted and it's got this um, belt uh, with the same fabric which is already included this trousers. This is just your normal um, straight cut trousers and I like that you can pair this with uh, a pair of boots and you can also pair this with high heels. The next uh, pair of trousers that I will show you is something from Mango and this is uh, a pair of black velvet trousers and this is the pair of trousers that I thought would look good with that satin top which I showed you earlier on. Velvet is very much on trend this season so um, like for me anything velvet I'm kind of like drawn towards it but just because I like the way that it hangs as well because of the fabric so it looks uh, really nice when you wear it. Also, this is a high-waisted one. The thing that I like about this is it has an elastic band, so um, it's quite forgiving and um, it's easier to put on and take off. Another item that I will show you guys is this jumpsuit, which I got off of Namchi. And I really like this because um, it's something that you can wear for a night out, and it's something that still looks a bit modest um, and I like this button detail as well that you can see in the front trousers. These buttons are actually um, something that you can unbutton in case you want to show up a little bit of your legs but for me I like it um, bottomed up and this is uh, just your normal straight cut trousers so it just has this adjustable strap so you can adjust it to how you want it to fit. For reference, I got this in a size small slash medium. This one comes in a black color. I believe this one on the website, there's another one which comes in like a dark green color. 
but I opted for a black color just because I can wear it a lot more often. So the length is actually just the right length for me as it comes just a little bit below my ankle. So if I will be wearing a pair of heels, then it's okay. And just for reference as well, I'm 5'3 in height. So if you're a bit skeptic about buying a jumpsuit because of the length, then this one that I've just shown you early, earlier is actually a good length for me. And moving on to the shoes, um, I actually got two shoes for this haul. One is something that I purchased off of Namshi and it's from Dorothy Perkins. And it's this ankle boots, which is in a black velvet and it's a lace up ankle boot as you can see but it has a zipper at the side so you can so it's easy to wear actually it's easy to uh, put in and uh, take off um, I think the heel height for this is around 8.5 centimeters so it's not that high and I've actually worn this um, twice already and it's very comfortable and I haven't had any problems with it so I really like this one and it's quite comfortable inside as well um, I think um, it's quite padded in the front so it has a little bit of cushion um, and support to your feet I really like this. This comes in a size 38 and I really like this because you can uh, wear this with um, trousers, with skirts, with dresses. Um, so yeah, this is uh, one of my favorite purchases. So yeah, this is something that I'm looking forward to wearing a lot during the winter season. So the next item that I will be showing you guys is actually a birthday present from my sister and it's this um, velvet and suede sneakers from Zara and I she got this for me um, and it's a size 38 and I have a similar pair like this which is in a plain black I actually have two and I use that as my driving shoes and it's very comfortable that's why I like it so it's getting a little bit tattered now so um i actually asked her to check this pair of trainers for me uh before my birthday but i guess she got a little bit busy at the time but i'm so happy that she remembers so i was quite surprised that and happy as well that um she got this for uh my birthday present so this is it. It's a combination of suede and velvet in this pink color and I really really like it because you can pair this with so many things. So as promised, the last thing that I'm going to share with you guys is the bag that I got um, for my birthday. Actually, this is partly my boyfriend's uh, birthday present for me and I like this because it's quite different from the normal bags that I usually get. It's uh, quite edgy, but I like that it also has like some uh, classic um, details to it. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys what I got for my birthday. I got it off, off from net a and as always, I'm gonna put a link in the description box below for this bag. And this bag is the Data London bag from the Volan. So just to give you a background on the Volan, the Volan I believe is a South Korean brand which rose to popularity because fashion celebrities like Miroslava Duma have um, used it, used their bag on a number of uh, fashion shows this year, and it's been hailed as. Um, the IP bag and it's been featured on Vogue as well. So when I saw it on the Net-A-Porter website, 
I got so excited and I told myself this is the bag that I wanted to get. So as you can see, I have an affinity with small bags. Most of um, my designer bags are uh, small or are mini bags. I like that it looks very edgy because of the pattern but also it got some classic elements to it like the gold hardware it's got this soft uh, black leather as well uh, with the black leather strap so you can use it as a top handle you can carry it from the handle or you can have it as like a shoulder bag I will quickly show you the inside of it like how pretty is that it's such a nice um, surprise it was so funny because this is called the data london bag but actually it was my sister who pointed out that it looks um, it actually has the uae flag colors so i was quite happy about that as well because you know represent <laughs> yeah so guys let me know on the comment section below if you want a review of this data london bag from the volan i hope you guys enjoyed this massive fashion haul and if you guys like this video please don't forget to like and if you got any comments don't forget to put it in the comment section below and as always i will put a link in the description box for all of the items that I've shown you. Don't forget to support your girl and click that subscription button and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys!